believe it's Thursday either. Time flies. Anyway, it's bedtime story time. So, tonight, I'm wondering if you can guess what I'm dressed as tonight. Because it is me, really. Um, and some pictures might give it away. Anyway, I'm going to read now. And the story is The Three Little Pigs. And this is by Susanna Davidson. Let's see if I can do this without my glasses. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They lived with their mother in a snug little house. Until the pigs grew too big. It's time you found homes of your own, said their mother. Can you see them? They've all got so big, they're all squashed on the sofa. <laughs> so, off they trotted on their short little pink legs. Trotity trot, trotity trot, trotity trot, trotity trot. Watch out for the big bad wolf called Mother Pig. Soon they met a man selling straw. Oh, squealed the first little pig. May I buy some? I'm going to build a house made of straw. And there's the yellow straw. I think I've got a picture of the straw house. He set to work straight away. His house had four straw walls, a neat straw floor, and a fine straw roof. Oh! and a stylish straw door. Isn't it grand, said the first little pig. The others weren't too sure. They muttered, muttered and tutted and trotted away. There he is, very proud of his straw house. Soon, the two met a man selling sticks. Oh, squealed the second little pig. May I buy some? I'm going to buy, build a stick house, he said. So he built his house. Isn't my house grand? Sticks are better than straw. The third little pig wasn't very sure. There's the stick house. And there's the stick house here. So the third little pig trotted on until she found some bricks for sale. Oh, please, may I buy some? She asked. I'm going to build a brick house. So she built her brick house. Brick houses are the best of all. And there she is with her brick house. And I've got a brick house there. The next day, the big bad wolf came to the straw house. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, said the first little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf huffed. 
and he puffed and he blew the house in. Do you see? He's blown it all away. Oh dear. The little pig ran as fast as he could to the stick house. The wolf was right behind him. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, cried the wolf. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin, cried the two little pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he puffed and he puffed until he blew the house in. And he blew the house of sticks down. The little pigs both ran as fast as they could to the brick house. The wolf was just behind them. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. No, yelled the three little pigs, not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin. Can you see the brick house? That one looks much stronger. Let's see. So the wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he huffed and he puffed. And he huffed, and he puffed. He huffed, and he puffed, until poof, huff, poof. He ran out of puff. He 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 he, laughed the three little pigs. You can't get in. But the wolf jumped, jumped onto the roof and he slid down the chimney. Ha ha! And he landed splush in the cooking pot. The third little pig picked up the lid and all three pigs slammed it on. By the hairs of our chinny chin chin, they said. We won't be seeing that wolf again. Can you see them? They won! Yay! They survived the chasing wolf with a lot of huffs and puffs. There we go. So that was tonight's story. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, I did, and so it's um, Thursday, so it'll be next Tuesday again before I read another story. So in the meantime, enjoy the sunshine and be good, and I'll see you when I can. Okay.